Okay, on the way, welcome to another player growth test. I'll be taking a look at Emiliano Marcondes here. The 20-year-old center attacking made me stress a 68 overall. Uh, pretty solid pace from the start. Dribbling not too bad either. Uh, ball control up there as well. So we'll see how he continues to grow uh, over the years. Now has decent potential, not the highest um, of all the players I've done recently for the most part of the players that I do in general. But still very solid player regardless. Six foot cam, striker, left mid, right footed. Medium work rates, four star weak foots, and three star skumo. So pretty solid with that six foot frame and some good agility um you know i think your kind of lanky players with decent agility are pretty solid um but in general i kind of prefer the shorter players in all honesty in the attacking positions but 71 overall age 21 good boost to his his physical stats as well gets the the increases in his ball control dribbling you can see the short pass looking a bit better as well so some pretty good uh, stats in that end of that first year. Continue to grow very steadily here uh, up to the 74 overall age 22. Uh, good increases to his physical stats. Ball control dribbling finishing up there as well. Uh, long shots really grew uh, steadily throughout. I took a lot of long shots with him um, because, you know, cutting from, from deeper, I, I just kind of seemed to, to be one of the players that a few times I was actually able to uh, be afforded the space to take those types of long shots. I don't know what it was exactly, but 77 overall now. Ball control dribbling pretty high up there. Good finishing as well uh, certainly nice if you do want to play him as a striker but uh, finishing would kind of lag in growth after that unfortunately but either way 79 overall now age 28 unfortunately did receive some drops in his mental status his mental status in general did not grow too much you kind of see that ability here turning um, taking these quick shots nearly making something happen there uh, it's a quite a few long shots with him again as I mentioned before uh, you can see some of that agility that little dribbling um, in those tight spaces as well pretty solid um, and you see him playing a very good ball that should have been finished quite frankly but didn't happen so I played him as a left mid and a cam a little bit as a striker I didn't really like him as a striker in all honesty but you can see him when I played him as a left mid out there cutting in taking that shot should have been finished but he got a little bit better um, you know when I did play him as a cam uh, or a center mid getting in those attacking positions even though his attack positioning is pretty low uh, he made some good runs from time to time to score some goals as you saw before another long shot again that was kind of his forte as he would you know end up having some pretty good long shots here at age 30 81 overall decent pace and agility ball control dribbling not too bad solid passing and finishing isn't too bad either so a pretty well-rounded player um you know he's not the highest of overall i usually do a little bit higher uh, overall higher potential players but i like to mix it up from time to time so uh certainly would be a really good buy for a lot of mid-table teams in my opinion uh you know in in you know top leagues in the in the in europe i think it'd be a good buy for some of those uh mid-table type sides but uh 80 as a winger 79 as a center forward 81 as a cam 76 as a center mid 79 as a right mid left mid so pretty solid the one thing is i think if it's mental stats were a lot higher he would have a much better overall you can see aggression division are pretty low so that's one thing that's unfortunate um and of course he did have those uh d declines in those stats even so uh hopefully um maybe you guys will have some better growth uh, if his mental stats go up there i think you know with better mental stats near the 80 mark he would actually probably be a few points higher so uh, that's one downside to him but i really did enjoy my time using him um you can play in a few different positions personally i preferred him as a cam in a general center mid even though he's a bit low in the calculations still played well for me regardless especially in the 4-3-3 that I was running at times so uh, either way um, thanks for tuning in I certainly would recommend him again for some mid-table sides you know in the top leagues in Europe with that guys I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later